Welcome to section 5.1.2. Um, I'm not sure that there's a whole lot new that we're going to do in this section, but it is on selecting a trig tool. I went into that quite, uh, quite a lot in part 2 of 5.1.1 and did some examples of it in 5.1.1 part 3. On this one, I'm just basically going to review it and show you three examples from, from this section. Okay, so remember that when we're using right triangle trigonometry, we're going to pick the angle, the acute angle, and label the sides, opposite, hypotenuse, adjacent. We're going to pick a trig equation, which is what we're talking about today. This is what we're practicing by basically going, what side do I know and what side do I want to know? And that will tell us which of the combinations we, we need to. They don't have to be in the same order, like you could say adjacent and opposite, and still use the opposite adjacent one. It's just basically those two sides. Then plug in the values and solve. Okay, so in 512A, they gave us this triangle and asked us to solve it. So I'm going to do exactly what I've told you each time that I'm going to do. I'm going to pick my angle, label the sides, hypotenuse, because it's crossing the right angle opposite because this is across from the angle and this must be the adjacent but which two sides am I using I know the hypotenuse and I want to know the opposite so hypotenuse and opposite which one uses hypotenuse and opposite well that's going to be the sine so I'm going to use the sine formula sine equation so the sine of 28 degrees over 1 needs to equal the opposite over the hypotenuse. Even though I wrote it this way, remember that sine is always opposite over hypotenuse. Let's see, opposite is x, hypotenuse is 19. Cross multiply, I'll get 1 times x, which is x. And then I'm going to write this as 19 times the sine of 28 degrees. And I'm going to put it on the calculator because that's multiplication. 19 times the sine of 28 degrees is 8 point, I'm just going to round it to the tenths place, about 8.9. So x is about 8.9. Now, the next one. Label sides, pick angle, label sides, hypotenuse, cross from there, cross from the angle I chose is the opposite. So remember, angle across from the right angle is the hypotenuse, angle across from the one you chose is the opposite. And this must be the adjacent. I want the one that uses, I know opposite, I want to know adjacent, which one uses opposite and adjacent. If I look here, opposite and adjacent is the tangent. So I'm going to write it in. Tangent of 45 degrees over 1 equals um, opposite over adjacent. Opposite is 8. Adjacent is x. Okay. Now, I'm going to convert this to its value, which is 1. 8 times 1 is 8 equals 1x or x just equals 8. That makes sense in a 45-45 triangle these two sides are the same length so that is really nice. Okay, last one we're gonna do right here. Pick the angle, label the sides. That's the hypotenuse. This side is the one across so it's the opposite. This is the one that's next to it that's not the hypotenuse so it's adjacent. Let's see, which one I know adjacent, I want to know hypotenuse, which one uses adjacent and hypotenuse? The cosine. So, I'm going to say the cosine of 61 degrees over 1 equals the adjacent over hypotenuse. That's what the formula says, adjacent over hypotenuse. That's easy enough to cross multiply, but I'm going to change cosine of 61 to its value. 4848. 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 
cross multiply, you get 0.4848x. This is one of those where you're going to have a number and you're going to have an extra step you're going to have to do. So I'm going to do 18 divided by and 0.4848x divided by 0.4848. 0.4848. That gives me x equals that. And I'm not even going to try that one in my head right now. 18 divided by 0.4848 is about um, 37.1. I could also have divided 18. Remember this 0.4848 was basically the cosine of 61. So I could just divide this by cosine 61. You'll see the ants, whoop, got a period at the beginning. Okay, let's see if I've got it, if I can do this. Okay, if I do cos, uh, what was it, 18 divided by 0.4848, that was the answer. If I do 18 divided by the cosine of 61, I get that. They're very close. You can see there's a little bit off because of the rounding. Anyway, I hope this helps. And remember this process, and it will help you. Um, we will do more examples if needed, but for right now, I hope that's enough to get you started and going on this. Good luck.